By the time we're done with today's video, we're gonna be full of baloney. All right, folks, welcome back to the Fogo Life. I'm Captain Ron. Today, we're gonna take a page out of my buddy Matt Pittman's recipe book and make some smoked bologna. If you've never had it, it's a throwback to the childhood. Did your mom used to make fried bologna in the frying pan? Well, we're gonna up it. We're gonna smoke it, we're gonna cut it, and then we're gonna cook it again, make a little sandwich out of it. Got some white bread, some cheese, and some mayonnaise. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait. And this is a really simple recipe, but it is full of flavor and it is delicious. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our knife, we're just gonna score the bologna around it. We're gonna cover it up with mayonnaise, so it's a binder. And then we're gonna cover it in this here Meat Church Holy Gospel Outstanding Rub. We're gonna smoke it at 275 for about two hours, just till the outside starts to get like a little bit tougher, a little more, little more uh, solid, and then it's done. We're gonna drop it onto some cast iron. We're gonna cook it on, give it a nice little finish on the sides, make a nice little white bread sandwich because this is dining on the Redneck Riviera, baby. First thing I wanna do before we get started on our chub of bologna here is we're gonna get the grill lit. We wanna get it, like I said, to 275. We're gonna be cooking indirect, so we're gonna have a deflector in there so that the heat's coming from around the outside. So let's get this thing loaded up with Fogo charcoal and get her lit. Now, for you non-believers, <laughs> it really does work. <laughs> this is a really simple process. We're gonna take this chub of bologna. It's nothing super expensive, nothing crazy, just your average supermarket brand bologna here, okay? We're gonna take it, open it up. We're gonna score it, so it's gonna make a beautiful design on the end. But the other thing that's gonna do is it's gonna allow the seasonings to get inside there and really season this thing super well. So we're gonna score it. We're gonna lather it in mayo, like I said. Then we're gonna cover it in, in a rub and then smoke it at 275 degrees. We're gonna use some of these bourbon barrel ch smoking chunks. These things give an incredible flavor. I can't wait to eat this, it's gonna be so good. Man, I go through these things quick. Another bag gone. Can't forget the ends, gotta cover those end caps too. We want flavor everywhere in this thing. And now it is time to smoke our bologna. <laughs> We're at 275 degrees. Our smoke from our bourbon chips is rolling. We're just gonna lay it down here now. You can stand it up, you can lay it down. I have better success laying it down like that. It's up to you. But 275 degrees, I'm gonna go for about two hours. Oh God, those bourbon barrel chunks smell so good. Anyway, let's let her sleep for about two hours. We'll check on her again. The nice part about this cook, there's no internal temperatures, there's no anything to watch. What you're really looking for is once that outside rub gets a nice bark on it, and becomes a little more solidified, that's when you know it's done. This is not an exact science. It's not cooking a brisket, all right? It's really simple. It's a fun cook to do, and it is tasty as can be. Wait till you see at the end. Does that look beautiful or what? Let's pull it off here. I'm gonna try and do it with my bare hands. Let's see, now actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this knife underneath here. Oh yeah. Now, remember, we did this for 270, uh, 275 for two hours, and the outside's got just a nice, tough texture to it. It's not hard, but it's, it's got a nice, you can tell it's got a good bark to it. So I think the important thing that we're gonna do now is cut into it and see what this baby looks like. So let's get on that. Look at that, beautiful, just beautiful. The smoke didn't quite penetrate as much as I thought it was going to. It's got a slight smoke ring, but man, it's steaming hot inside and it is good. Oh, look, that special little treat for me. So you wanna cut it in maybe like quarter inch thick slice or something like that, somewhat thick. You don't want a super thick or super thin either, so. That is so good, and I'm not just full of bologna. <laughs> Get it, full of bologna. Now, if you saw some of the white while I was still cutting it, there's still a little bit of the mayonnaise that got inside, like when, we, when I rubbed it all in and got into the crevices. So there's still a little bit of mayonnaise, no big deal. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, all right. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take this top grate off. I got a cast iron plancha, or you know, same thing as a cast iron pan. You can use a cast iron pan, get it really hot, and you're just gonna sear this for not even a minute per side. So we're just gonna wipe this off a little bit. Let's take these two pieces right here, right from the center. Looking good, right? Nice smoky. All right, so we just wanna put a slight char on them. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful color. Ooh, doggy, yes. That is gonna be some good eating right there. This is gonna be delicious and that ain't no bologna. And 30 seconds to a minute per side, and we are good. So we're going right on some white bread. I think I'm just gonna put one slice on the sandwich. That's enough, that's pretty pretty thick piece right there already. Now, the good stuff, all right? We're gonna take a piece of regular old American cheese right on top. Okay, 
Now, take our other piece of bread. We're gonna slather it with mayo. You can use mustard if you want. You can use horseradish, whatever you want. Horseradish is really good. Um, little secret, Chick-fil-A sauce. Oh man, next level. We're keeping it basic with mayo. I'm a Hellman's guy. Some of you like Duke's, some of you like <laughs> Miracle Whip. But in any case, what mayonnaise do you like? I love mayonnaise and I love Hellman's. I've had Duke's, can't really complain with it either. I like it. But I like a good coating of it on there. We just put that right on top of our sandwich. And it is sandwich, S-A-M-M-I-C-H. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. It ain't much to look at, but boy, is it good. I think I'll take a bite. <laughs> that is so good. So basic and so good. Who'd have thought bologna could taste this good? I gotta say, Matt Pittman, the man is a genius. He's a barbecue guru genius. This is fantastic. The smoky flavor, the inexpensive American cheese, the mayo, it's all so good. Anyway, go ahead, smoke your bologna. I think you're gonna love it. It's really easy, it's really delicious, and I can't wait to dig into more of this, so we're gonna end this now. Listen, remember, get out and grill, and we'll see you next time on The Fogo Life.